In this video, I'm going to show you um, some drawing tools, some basic drawing tools and some modified tools. So I'm going to explain the line tool, the rectangular tool, the circle tool, and I'm going to explain about copying objects and uh, I'm going to explain how to zoom in and zoom out to an object. So first, I'm going to create a line. So click on line and then command line says specify first point. So I want you to create lines like that. And while you're doing that, I want you to hit F8. So F8 in your keyboard. So when you click on F8, you'll notice that all lines would be straight. Okay. So this is useful when you're doing floor plans or if your design is, is rectangular. And uh, now if you want to remove the ortho mode, or if you don't want to create straight lines, you just toggle it on and off by hitting F8 again. So I remove F8 and turn it on again. Remove F8, I hit escape. So control A is also a Windows, Windows uh, shortcut for, for selecting all. That's also the same in AutoCAD. So hit control A and then I'm gonna delete that. So the next one is the circle. But before doing the circle, I'm just creating a line here from here to say here. And my objective is to put a circle here in the center point would be in this end point and the center point would be in this end point too. So whenever you click on the icon circle, command line will say, say okay, you want a circle, but where do you want the center of the circle? So I'm going to move on, move close to this endpoint, and if it, the endpoint shows up, I'm going to click and then drag. Okay, so that's my circle. So I'm going to do it again. So click the circle tool, and then click here for the center, and then like that. So that's the center uh, drawing tool. I'm going to delete this now. Uh, when deleting objects, you can also make a window like this, like a crossing window, and then release. And then you'll know that the objects are selected when it, the solid lines becomes dashed lines. I'm going to hit delete here. That's that. Now I'm going to show you the rectangle tool. So you click on the rectangle tool, and I'm going to make three rectangles. One, two, and three. Now that's how you create a rectangle. So now, let's say I want to just get a silhouette of these three rectangles here. So I'm gonna use the trim command. So this is the trim command. So you click on trim. And the command line says, select objects to trim. So I'm going to select this one here, this one, and then this one. And the AutoCAD wants to know if that's the only objects that you want to trim. So I'm going to hit enter to confirm. So hit enter. And now the next line that I'm going to choose will disappear or will be trimmed. So click that. that, that. Okay. There. Now we get the silhouette of the three objects. Now I'm going to create another circle here and I put, put the circle in here. And then I'm gonna show you the copy tool. So the copy tool copies objects on a specific distance in a specific direction. So my objective here is that I'm gonna create circles, exactly the same circle. I'm gonna copy this and put it in this endpoints here. But in this endpoint, the center will be in the endpoint of the of this, 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 and this. So first I click on the copy tool. It's a modified tool. And the command line says select objects. So I'm going to select this one here. And then I'm gonna hit enter to say that that's the only object that I want. Now when I click on enter, AutoCAD is asking us specify the base point. So you want to, co to copy this object. Now where do you want to drag the object? So I'm gonna drag it to the center of the circle and I'm going to put it in the location that I want to. 
there. So now I just copied it and put it in the right location and it escaped. I'm going to delete this now. And the next one is the spine. The spine tool creates a smooth curved object that passes through a near specified point. So when I click on the, the spline tool, in the command line it says specify first point. So I'm gonna click on this first point here. Then while I'm doing that, my second point, I'm gonna click and then drag to establish a curve. Now what I'm going to do right now, I'm gonna draw a profile of a person and I hit enter three times to end the command. One, two, three to end the spline. Here. So that's spline. You can do whatever one you want to do in the spline. So you can make it like that. And if you want to close the spline, you can just go hit enter three times. One, two, three, and that's the spline. I'm going to show you more of the drawing tools in my next few videos. But for now, for this exercise, you can use those tools that I've taught you and use the modify tools. But before I end, I'm going to show you how to zoom in and zoom out first. In any graphic software, the middle button in your, scroll, in your mouse is actually zooming in and zooming out. So if you scroll to your middle button, you're actually going to zoom in and zoom out. Now while you're doing that, I want you to hold down your middle button. And what does it do? It pans the image. So panning is useful, especially when you're, when you're drawing or even you're, when you're viewing the, the design uh, with more detail. So that's panning. Zooming in and zooming out would be the scroll button.